brother who is loved by God. How beautiful! If we have a strong and sincere longing to be a man pleasing before God, that longing should keep burning in our hearts. We're the ones lighting it up, those of us who are inflaming it, until it becomes some kind of fixed and permanent consumption within us become thirsty and our hunger and this is what God says in Matthew 5 verse 6 blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness because they will be satisfied we must continue to inflame the longing inflame the will to be the father's favorite child in heaven or with another sentence that is to be fragrant in front of God. This is a necessity, meaning that we can reach, can experience. This is the will of the Father in heaven. Since we wake up in the morning, let's make up our minds to actually be able to please God, understand what God wants, understand what he's planning. We do the will of God and we fulfill the plan or related to the work of God that he entrusts to us. Each understand the will of God is very personal nature and each of us has to really wrestle. Our prayers for me can always hear your voice, God. We always want to hear the voice of God for us to understand God's will, and we do. We ask God to give us sensitivity to understand what God is planning in our lives for us to fulfill. Let alone a servant of God you can't have your own project, can't have the desire, own vision and mission. All must come from God. And we just do what God wants in our lives. And if we understand what God's plan is in our lives that are related to his work, we fulfill that. This is usually the final the high levels of the adult Christian life who are no longer busy taking care of themselves, but busy just taking care of God's work. This is what God wants. Dear brother, to understand what God wants, to hear the voice of God, we must turn a deaf ear to the sound of the world. Many voices we hear through gadgets, through many sources, and it deafens our ears. Even close our spiritual ears to hear the voice of God. That also closes our minds. Closing our spiritual ears to the voice of God is desire, self-desire. Desires that are not in accordance with the will of God, that we keep the hidden in our hearts then it closes our ears to the voice of God to understand his will and his plan. Don't harbor wishes certain desires, not necessarily in accordance with the will of God. Every wish we have to check. If it's not, God's will we throw away. Because if people still have desires from themselves, he won't be able to understand desire God in his life. Remember the first. Don't fill the mind with noises coming from outside. Don't be preoccupied with watching movies, SMS gadgets that do not need to be read. Second, do not have the desire of yourself. That God's will can be channeled. 
can be invested, can be put in our hearts. People say, we are humans, may Dong have a wish. May, for us that desire is God's desire. That was put inside of us. We photocopy, we copy paste God's desire for us to put in our lives. And the third thing that blinds the spiritual eye who shuts spiritual ears is a sin. This is the most horrible. Then let us not sin, no matter how small, no matter how smooth. Do not sin. With these steps will make us able to hear the voice of God, understands His will and plan in our lives. If that thing we do, there will be a longing to meet God. Then we can understand why we can miss. Looking at the face of God, why we can long to go home to heaven. Because we've done God's will and fulfilled His plan in full. That's where we run out for God. We finish the journey of our lives in the presence of God to serve, to serve God, give love to God, and be a consolation for the kingdom of heaven. Such a reflection on this day. God bless.